What do we got this time, boy? We got McFarlane Toys Gold Label Walmart Exclusive Figure. What's up, collectors? Lewis Monkey Pop Pink What a new video for you guys. What do we got? Lewis, hey, you. We got Ken K Productions. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. This is Carol of Rubio. This is a. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of surprised this came out before the regular figure. I thought the regular video would come out before this, but I, I, either way, I'll take it because I'm a big fan of the game, love the game, I like the box, I like the Netflix show. I, you know what would be a cool chase of this figure game? Hmm. Henry Cavell head. Just a head. So you can have the Netflix one. Well, he, all you gotta do is fall the head. That'd be a cool chance. I mean, I love it. I'm gonna put Old Man Logan on there. Oh, is it? Old Man Hawkeye? Or Hawkeye. There you go. That head is so useful for any figure. The Whistler head on there. Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. But, back to this. Gold label, I like it. Let's check this out. Watch it while I'm me fucking gold label. 22 points of articulation. And I just noticed something. I know it's not a DC figure. So it doesn't get a card. Doesn't get a card. I'm kind of bummed about that. It's, hey, they could have reached it the Game info, something. Yeah, all they could do the uh, the wicked cool toys route and give you a game add-on, a different skin, or a hat. I mean, tons of things. But oh well. But let's open this bad boy. Now here we go. We got this bad boy, Gerald. Gerald. I never say that word. But we got to open McFarlane Gold Label Walmart exclusive figure. So here we go. And I forgot to mention, but Ken's eye, eyes are a hard sink a little bit. If you go watch the past McFarlane videos, check out Destro to rip out the tears is up. So... What's we'll wrong with it, Ken? The mm -hmm. half sheath. The half sheath. Half sheath. McFarlane, I understand with the other figure, but this is gold. A like gold label. This is supposed to be the, the, the like premium from regular. And you still give us a half sheet? At least. Man. At least it's yeah. not as noticeable. Show it to me. When you're, like looking, when you're looking head on to this figure like that, mm. it's not as noticeable. You can see the ends and the top there as with Deathstroke because Deathstroke had a black sheath. Now, this is a silver sheath. Mm. Right? So they painted it. So I think kind of took some pointers mm. from his last one, but... It still would not work if that was black on the inside. I would still prefer a full sheet. I don't get why he's doing these hats. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Love the way it connects, though. Yeah, it does. I like the way it does it. So good pins. Got some beefy pins here. So it doesn't have holes in the, in the, in the leg. It kind of, it's like... It's almost flush. Yeah, it's almost flush. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. Bam, there you go. Nice. Yes. But that sheet thing, oh, that annoys me. 
Why would he do that to us after what happened with this road game? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the figure, I love the detail put into it, it's very sculpted, has all the links for the chain. So awesome. It, it's so detailed, but why put that much detail into it if you give us a half sheath, like, I feel like that takes away from the quality of the figure, like, like it, it would be so much nicer for, uh, I'm not trying to focus on it, but I'm bummed out. So, let's move on. The figure does feature Copen, ankle rocker, has double knee joints, double elbow joints. It's, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice figure with so much, so much detail. And I guess it, I'm a big fan of the games and the books. And my buddy, I don't really want to call him out, but I guess I will, because I'm going to do an interview with him here. So my buddy Jeff Howard of the years told me about the Witcher. He's a big gamer. He was like, oh my god, you had to play this game. So I played it. I fell in love with it. So shout out to Jeff for showing me about the Witcher. But the figure itself, I love it. I love the word McFarlane. He's doing these figures. And he gives us a stand that says the Witcher while Hunt 3. So it's like he he gives us a little bit of extra. But why can't other companies do it? It's, it's just it's not that hard to do, right? I mean I don't know. But we I, I think personally that he owns the patent to it, so to the stands. To the stands. <laughs> I mean how could you explain it? Uh, other companies won't give us a little piece of plastic. I, I can't believe Because we buy those figures anyway. Yeah, we do buy them anyway. Uh, but I'm going to give this a score. And I'm going with the nine. Because I like the game. I think the detail put into all the, the sculpting. Oh, the chain comes. There's so much detail packed has a hook in. down there. Yeah, there's a hook. There's so much detail packed into this bad boy that I can't, I can overlook the sheet a little bit. So I'm giving it a nine and it's a gold label. But I don't like it. doesn't have a card. I don't know. Whatever. Ken? I'm at an eight. Eight? What is that? Because of the sheath. You really hate that, don't you? I mean, his swords are pretty badass. I mean, yeah, they're pretty big. They're big like William Wallace. Has a big hung Yeah, but oh my god. I'm bummed out about the sheath. It doesn't do it for me, Lewis. Doesn't do it for Well, you heard it. Doesn't do it for you, Ken. I enjoy it. I like it. What would you guys Rate this figure. For those that have it, what do you like about it? If you don't have it, are you going to get this? Tell us. I love to hear from you guys. It's awesome. You guys show me love. I appreciate it. I love all of you. So comment, like, subscribe. Tons of links below. Like I go Facebook to get a hold of us. So until next time, Gregor, happy hunting. Mm -hmm.